Yes, hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through the tutorials on scatter graphs and Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So today we shall go through lesson one, introduction to correlation and scatter diagrams. So correlation is a degree of relationship between two variables and the graph showing the relationship between two variables is known as a scatter graph or sometimes called a scatter diagram so if you have two variables y and x a graph of y against x which is plotted will show the relationship between the two variables so there are three kinds of relationships there's a positive linear relationship in this positive linear, linear relationship the scatter points these are the scatter points the ones in blue they form a scattering region whereby if you are to draw a line of base fit through those points it will have a positive gradient so in that case there is a positive linear relationship for a negative linear relationship the scatter points they form a scattering region which is marked with dotted lines on the circle so in this case if you are to draw a line of base fit through these points it will form a negative gradient so in that case, there will be a, li a negative linear relationship between the two variables y and x. On the other hand, if there is neither, if there is no linear relationship, then we just say no relationship. In the, for example, in this diagram, it is u-shaped. The, the points are scattered in a u-shape. In this case, they are, they are scattered in a circular shape so in that case we shall see that there is no linear relationship on o0 correlation so for today we shall go through this problem called the cost of traveling a certain distance away from the city center is found to depend on the route and the distance a given place is away from the center so the table below gives the average rates of travel charged for distances to the to be traveled away from the city center so this is the table shows the values of x which denote the distance traveled in kilometers and the values of y which denotes the rates charged for each corresponding distance so they want us to plot the above data on a scatter diagram and and draw and draw it and use it to identify the type of relationship between the distance traveled and the rates charged. So the first step when you're given your graph paper, the first step is to leave one centimeter on the vertical axis and demarcate these, make these demarcations using intervals of two two centimeters up the end. Do the same for the horizontal axis. Leave one centimeter, demarcate leaving intervals of two two centimeters on each leaving it about two centimeters after doing that the next step is to get the scale the scale is given by the formula highest value minus lowest value divided by the number of spaces so for example in the vertical for the vertical scale when you look at this table the highest value is 2000 and the lowest is 750 so the scale will be 2000 minus 750 divided by 11. Where is this 11 coming from? We have to count the spaces 1, 2, 3, 4. So when you count up the end, there will be 11 spaces. That is why we use 11. When you calculate, you get 113.6364. So how, which scale is better? The scale, the stable scale will come from the multiples of 1, 2, 5, and 10. For example, if you multiply by 5, the highest value will be 50. But the value you got here is 113. So this can't work. When you multiply by 10, the highest is 100. But our value x is 100. When you multiply by 100, the highest is 1,000. Meaning the scale is along this. So from 100, we go to 200. This value lies between this, lies within that. That means that our scale will be 200 on the vertical axis. For the horizontal scale, 
we shall still use the same formula highest value minus lowest value divided by the number of spaces so now our table the highest value is 50 and the lowest is 9 so we shall say 50 minus 9 now the number of spaces will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we shall use 9 spaces that is 50 minus 9 divided by 9 it gives you 4.5556 when you go back to our tables to our table of scales from 2 we go to 5 meaning we when we use 5 it will give a suitable scale so our suitable scale for the horizontal axis will be 5 after knowing that we shall now demarcate our scale draw the horizontal line to mean the axis for the axis vertical axis demarcate the values leaving intervals of 200 for the vertical axis for the vertical axis and intervals of 10, 5 5 for the horizontal axis okay after doing that we shall now go to plotting the scatter points so they are in pairs x and y so for the x this is for example this is 9 and this is 750 so we shall go here and look for 9 here take it up and look for the also the corresponding y value which is 750 to give that point do the same for the race for example this is 12 this is a thousand so look for 12 and take it up look for the corresponding y value which is a thousand to get that point so when we shall do the same for all the remaining points and come up with a scatter diagram as this so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there should be ten points or ten pairs because these are also ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that is the scatter diagram and the next part they wanted us to comment on our relationship so when you look at these points the scattering region will be in this form meaning there is a positive linear relationship so that will be our comment positive linear relationship between the distance traveled in kilometers and the rates charged in shillings that has been the lesson for today tune in next time thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel rowa e-learning thank you